Bari, Italy. Guys, come along with me to the journey to explore some amazing food places in south of Italy. So keep watching the video and enjoy it. So guys, um, Dona Mara is one of the cafes um, in Bari itself where I went every morning to get some breakfast, um, my morning coffee and the delicious um, chocolate souffle which I'm going to show you in the video, it's just going to come up. Um, do try this um, chocolate souffle. Hidden beneath the caves of Bari is this uh, beautiful restaurant, um, Greek restaurant, uh, which mainly serves uh, seafood. Um, they're really famous for their seafood and different kinds of wraps. So do check out this uh, amazing um, street food place. Um, I would call it street food, but it's a proper restaurant. As you can see, um, I've ordered some wine leaves. It's like a platter with olives and cheese. Um, it was delicious. It's a uh, Greek speciality. Um, my husband, um, he ordered a fish wrap, um, which you will see him eating in a bit. <laughs> um, it was quite delicious. We ordered some fried shrimps as well. Um, um, I would give it 10 out of 10. Do try this restaurant, guys. Another hidden gem is this uh, place called Demora Saverna. Um, they got amazing views. You can literally see the whole city from top of the restaurant. So guys, they serve shisha and uh, different kind of cocktails and mocktails. We went for some pina colada mocktail. Um, it was very nice. Um, just behind that, uh, you know, outdoor um, lounge, they have a proper restaurant where you can actually do outdoor di dining or indoor dining, dining, um, and enjoy some uh, delicious food. starters uh, we ordered some ricotta balls and uh, some shrimps and we ordered pizzas uh, which were very delicious different kinds of pizzas we ordered um, it, the speciality is actually a pizza in that restaurant so this next place is in old city of Matera where they put uh, pasta on the cheese board and sprinkle some pistachios uh, best um, Pasta place um, must visit 10 out of 10. I loved it, my most favorite. So, guys, if you want to visit a pizza place in Bari, um, there is a old, old, very old pizza place uh, in right next to Old Town Bari. Um, they make uh, their pizzas like in a traditional way and it's amazing, do try this. Mm -hmm. 
short drive from Bari is this beach, Rosa Marina, Ostuni Beach, uh, where this restaurant is and they serve fresh seafood. They literally catch the seafood from the sea and cook it in front of you. Scattered throughout Bari are different cafes and this is one of uh, a pretty decent cafe there. We grabbed some coffee and dessert. It was um, really nice. Uh, um, do try it um, if you want to go for a cute pictures and you know, a cute cafe, do go there. to this town called um, Albero Bello where this uh, restaurant um, it's a local restaurant um, and the chef is right in front of you running the restaurant it's a pretty decent restaurant um, and uh, um, I think it's uh, if you go to this town definitely visit this uh, just make sure you pre-book it it's quite busy in a very famous and authentic restaurant in Italy, a place called Arbello Bello. Um, the restaurant is called um, La Cantina. Um, it's a very famous restaurant, very nice restaurant. We got a kitchen at the back, so you can actually watch them cooking your food. Um, we ordered some pasta in the starters. I've ordered a few things, which I will show you later in the video. We're waiting for a pasta. Um, we ordered two kinds of pasta. Um, I can't remember the names, but as this spaghetti and artenti. It's so this place overall, like it's near Bari, and uh, Bari is like a big city. And then these are small places around it: Arbello Bello, um, Poliniano. Um, Matera. Matera. <laughs> so I, I can't remember the names. I'm asking my family, and um, they're good at these things. I can't remember names. So um, you visit these places and you try your food. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Look at this. Thank you. Oh, this looks creepy. Okay, so let's let's try it. Shall I? So guys, now we're gonna try the spaghetti. Let's see. Oh. Mm. It's got a hint of spice. 
spice as well. Did we ask for a spice? Yeah, I asked for it's, like spicy. it's cheesy, it's, it's very nice. Um, no, it's, it's cooked in olive oil, but I think the taste is really different. I have never eaten something like this in England. So the way they have cooked it, it's, it's amazing how they cooked it. And the flavor is like, it literally melts in your mouth. So yeah guys, definitely try this. It's one of the best dishes in this restaurant. Guys, this is the second um, pasta dish which we have ordered. We're gonna try one of these. What is it? I can't remember the name. Arcetti. Mm. This has a lot of basil taste in it. The flavor is. And it's not even a speciality, this is their in house dish. They've cooked today and. But this shape of pasta is unique to Bari. Yeah. Which one do you recommend? This one or the one before? This is very nice because it's totally different from the one I had before. But I would still recommend the first one. Um, if you like strong taste of basil and tomato, then go for this. But if you like cheesy and you know like a spicy kind of spaghetti, then go for the first one. So the last uh, restaurant we went to was this pizza place in Polignano. Uh, again, you have to pre-book it. Um, the, this is a very old restaurant. This is the new branch, but the old restaurant is actually in a different place. Uh, actually, it's out in Bari. So guys, definitely try their pizza. Um, the restaurant looks amazing and the food was delicious. So if you wanna have a good, good authentic uh, Italian pizza, go to this place. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment down below. Take care. Bye.